Archaeological finds are not only of immeasurable value from a technical point of view, the artifacts from days long gone by give us an authentic insight into the past. However, with the countless discoveries that have helped us understand the course of history better than ever, let us not forget one thing. The world of our ancestors is still shrouded in countless mysteries that have always been waiting to be unraveled. We will now show you which 10 archaeological discoveries and mysteries are still keeping researchers in suspense. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our future videos. Also, stick around to learn about one of the most bizarre and unexplained archaeological mysteries so far. The Stone Egg The year is 1872, and some construction workers in the northeastern United States are busy erecting a fence on the shore of a lake. What started out as a routine task soon turned into a sensational discovery. The men had come across a strange lump of clay in the ground. It quickly became clear that the object buried two meters deep was a strange stone egg. The markings on the outside, which couldn't be classified in any known context, seemed particularly puzzling. It seems that whoever made the egg came from a distant area with its own cultural customs. In addition to some decorations reminiscent of astrological symbols, the stone egg is also decorated with an unusual human face. Experts did their best to get to the bottom of this discovery, but as far as they could tell, they weren't able to tie the strange egg to any known settlement that would have lived in this area in the distant past. Some people have speculated that it may have belonged to an ancient tribe of people whose whereabouts were simply lost to history. Others have suggested that the egg may have come from a much more recent past, but we don't know for sure. Other more wild theories claim that the egg may not be tied to an ancient human civilization at all. Instead, some believe that the egg may be from a different world or a different dimension, tying it to extraterrestrial beings rather than any human. Ancient Cyborg when archaeologists came across the skeleton of a Peruvian warrior some time ago, they were amazed. The 2,000-year-old skull was grotesquely elongated and reinforced with a few metal plates. In fact, the metal parts were even fused to the bone in places. However, it's unlikely that it was some kind of ancient cyborg. The warrior probably once returned from the battlefield with a severe head injury. In order to save the soldier's life and close the gaping wound, the medics then carried out a complex operation. Mind you, 2,000 years ago. The warrior's strikingly long skull, however, had a different background. Among the indigenous peoples of Latin America, skull manipulations using bandages and special boards were an integral part of the culture. In this way, social ranks were emphasized and membership of a particular tribe was announced. We don't know exactly how the metal had become bonded to the bone, whether this was done during the surgical procedure or if it was done over time as the bones tried to heal. Regardless, learning about such an intense surgery taking place more than 2,000 years ago is truly breathtaking. As far as we can tell, the metal was precision cut to match the hole in the man's head. Most of the time, when injuries like this took place, the person would be met with an almost certain fate. However, for some reason, this man's life was spared thanks to a skillful surgeon. Home of the Giant from an archaeological point of view, it's not always easy to place the events mentioned in the Bible in a real historical context. This is also the case in the case of David's famous fight against Goliath. In the Old Testament, it's said that the future king managed to outwit the giant in battle and knock him down with a slingshot. Before that, the giant emerged from the city of Gat, and that very city gate was rediscovered a few years ago. In addition to the gate, which is one of the largest of its kind ever discovered in Israel, the researchers also found a massive fortress wall and several buildings. Many people have been hoping that we may one day be able to find the body of the fabled warrior Goliath. However, it doesn't seem like that's likely to happen. It's truly incredible that we were even able to track down the city's walls and gate. 
though finding such an old skeleton seems like more of a pipe dream than anything else. Sea Peoples from the Mediterranean Who were the mysterious warriors who attacked numerous countries in the Mediterranean around 3,200 years ago? Some ancient Egyptian reliefs, which depict the attacks of the brutal seafarers, show what horror the invaders unleashed in the population at that time. Thus, the combatants were depicted with horned helmets, while their warships were adorned with cruel bird heads. The attacks of the mysterious invaders could have even heralded the end of the Bronze Age. But where did the mighty warriors come from? According to ancient records, the attackers came from the north where they lived on islands in the middle of the ocean. However, it remains an unsolved mystery as to which people reduced so many cities to rubble and ashes and thus brought about a drastic epical change. Nefertiti's Tomb as the wife of the pharaoh Akhenaten, Nefertiti is one of the most famous figures in ancient Egyptian history. Eventually, in the course of her life, the queen rose to become co-ruler and possibly had a central influence on the affairs of state. Nowadays, however, there's no trace of Nefertiti. Nobody knows where the grave is located in which the king's wife was buried more than 3,000 years ago. However, this doesn't apply to everyone. Archaeologist Nicholas Reeves actually believes that he's found a hot lead in this regard. According to the American, Nefertiti's tomb is in the legendary Valley of the Kings. Even more, researchers have stood directly in front of the burial chamber without knowing it. According to this, the queen would rest in a hidden walled chamber in the same room where Tutankhamun's mummy was discovered. At least, that's what scans of the royal burial chamber suggest, which revealed some noticeable cracks in the wall. The future will show whether this is really the case. So far, many historians debate this theory and claim that the tomb of Nefertiti remains to be discovered. Though it seems as though more people are beginning to get on board with this idea that her tomb may be hiding in plain sight. If this turns out to be true, the rediscovery of her tomb may shed light on many ancient Egyptian mysteries. So far, the truth has yet to be unveiled. Scythian Tomb the fact that the Scythians are among the most mysterious peoples in history is primarily due to the fact that they left no written records for history. What is certain is that these horse nomads, who once roamed the endless Eurasian steppes, completely renounced permanent settlements and agriculture, and around the 3rd century BC were subjugated by the Sarmatians. Before that, the Scythians had managed to conquer some areas northeast of the Black Sea and even invaded Egypt. In view of the sparse information available, archaeological finds from the ranks of the Scythians are of incomparable value. This includes an ancient burial site discovered in southern Siberia. The valuable burial goods that were given to the woman and her child buried here suggest that they must have been extremely important people. Valuable treasures found in the wooden tomb include gold jewelry and an unusual bronze mirror. Giants of Doddridge County the year is 1930 when a literally gigantic find is recorded in the U.S. state of West Virginia. A simple resident encountered two strange hills on his property. When the curious man began to unearth the secrets buried there, he was so shocked that he immediately asked an expert for help. The professional excavation finally revealed the overwhelming extent of this find. The corresponding mounds were ancient tombs containing the remains of unusually large people. In detail, the buried were up to 2.3 meters tall. Detailed examination revealed that the bones were more than a thousand years old. Was it proof of the existence of a mighty race of giants that once roamed the land? Unfortunately, this exciting question can no longer be answered today. Shortly after their discovery, the gigantic skeletons would mysteriously disappear and never appear again. The Downfall of the Neanderthals they mastered fire, survived periods of icy cold, and defied dangerous animals. For around 250,000 years, the Neanderthals managed to master all the adversities of nature, only to then disappear from the scene for all time. To this day, no one can say for sure what really led to the demise of our extinct relative. 
did the Neanderthals fall victim to the bloody battles with Homo sapiens? If the two groups were really at odds, why did Neanderthals and modern humans begin to partially mix? In fact, between 1 and 4 percent of our genome comes from Neanderthals. Other theories that deal with the decline of prehistoric people look for the reason for the extinction in a lack of defenses, a reproductive laziness, harmful eating habits, or a serious volcanic eruption. However, why our relatives from the Stone Age really disappeared 30,000 years ago is uncertain. The Collection of Father Crespi Unknown writings, mysterious symbols, filigree details. Whether the legendary collection of Father Crespi was really the work of an unknown civilization or just brazen forgeries is still hotly debated today. Born in Italy in 1891, the priest moved to Ecuador in 1923 to work with the indigenous peoples there. During this time, the locals brought countless artifacts to their visitors. What's special? The monk's collection allegedly came from a hidden, kilometer-long cave system that resembled a secret treasure trove of knowledge. Only Father Crespi himself knew what the real background to the mysterious artifacts was. However, the priest, who died in 1982, took the secret of his controversial collection with him to the grave. Shang Dynasty In order to underpin their own political power, the rulers of the Shang Dynasty resorted to the most drastic measures imaginable. Mass human sacrifices were the order of the day here. Accordingly, it was not uncommon for nobles and feudal lords to seek the king's permission to sacrifice one of the unfortunate prisoners of war. If the oracle gave his blessing, the king also gave the green light for the ceremonial mass killing. In fact, it wasn't uncommon in those days to execute 30 people at once to gain the favor of a particular deity. If the king died, several hundred people were even sacrificed. The remains of victims buried in the capital Inshu have been recovered since the 1930s. Experts currently assume that between the 18th and 11th centuries BC, at least 13,000 people died an involuntary sacrificial death. As is clear to see, there's a lot about human history that remains to be discovered. It seems to be a recurring theme that, now that we're in the 21st century, we feel as though science has an explanation for just about everything. Though, day by day, we're learning that this is not the case at all. In reality, we only know as much about human history as the ancient humans cared to write down, and that's not very much. We can do our best to piece together fragments of history to try to concoct a broader image. However, this is often nothing more than expert guesswork that can never be proven beyond doubt to be 100% true. Take for example the ancient Egyptians. Scientists and historians have spent hundreds of years trying to piece together the story of the ancient Egyptians, but it seems that more and more frequently, their theories are proven wrong. The ancient Egyptians were known to write down virtually all of their history on city walls, tomb walls, and even on obelisks. However, how is it that they never once mentioned the pyramids or how they were built? Because of this, dozens of experts have put their minds together to come to a conclusion, though none has ever been found. As time passes by, we're likely to continue to learn more about our ancient ancestors. But for now, the truth remains unknown, and we're left with nothing but our educated guesses to guide us into the world of truth. Now your opinion is needed. Which archaeological find fascinated you the most? We're already looking forward to your comments. If you enjoyed our detour into the world of mysterious discoveries, please give us a thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date from now on. Are you interested in more exciting videos about the most mysterious finds of all time? Finally, please take a look at the other posts on our channel, which we've linked for you here in the credits. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.